Hello everybody, welcome back to this week's episode of the Music Lounge where we run with the theme, Let Music Speak. My name is Rumbi Mamunze, your host for the show. Today in studio we have yet another guest that has come through to spend time with us and share with us their music journey and their experience. She sings in The Shield. She is a third year student criminology learning at the UZ and she's here to share her experience with us. Hi, Daphne. Thank you for coming to the Music Lounge. Thank you so much. Um, I'm so happy that you're here and you've taken time to come and tell us a bit more about your music journey. Uh, you sing with The Shield. Yeah, I do. Uh, tell us a bit about that. Uh, when did you start singing with The Shield? How long have you been there and how's been the experience so far? Um, I think I've been there for a year now. And okay. the experience has been so good. It's been so good. Yeah, you know, singing with your age you mean. Uh -huh. yeah. Yes, because I, I, I noticed you are almost around about the same age. Most of you are still in university, exactly. almost completing your studies in university. And it's very nice because you know, and you're singing with your age mates. Exactly. And it becomes um, uh, a bit more comfortable, I guess, with your age mates. No, that's very nice. Uh, let me know, what part do you sing in The Shield? I sing out. You sing out, huh? Yes. Okay. And um, I, I would want to, uh, for you to share with us, what was the process like for you to join the Shield? How did you know about the Shield? Who were you called? Did you go for audition? Tell us, how did you join the group? Um, I went for audition after seeing my brother singing there because I have a brother who sang there before me. Oh, your brother so had been with the shield before you joined. Exactly. Okay. And then he called me to the shield uh -huh. and then I had to audition. So that's how I got there. Okay. Yes. That's nice. Yes. You have <laughs> uh, an Adventist background, your family as well. And you also learned at an Adventist school. Yeah, I Let did. You know, what was the experience like learning at an Adventist school as well as singing? Did you ever sing in any school choir, church choir? At, at school, in high school? Yeah, I learned at Nyazura for one to four, and then I went yeah. to Ruya. So, you know, being in an Adventist institution, yeah. you're bound to be singing. So, yeah, I've been singing in, in choirs mm -hmm. and in groups as well. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, you are studying criminology. Yes. <laughs> you can explain to us in, in brief what is the program about? Okay, it's a new program and the program um, focuses more on accountability and transparency in all mm. aspects of crime, looking at um, society and crime, how these two forces interact and influence each other, mm. as well as looking at the causes, why people commit crime, the reasons behind mm. and the ways that we can come up with to keep crime. Wow. So that's basically it. Wow. The, yes. it, it really shows you enjoy yeah, this, I do. this program. I Why do. did you choose to study criminology? Okay, it's not really about your degree, but I just want to know a bit more. Why criminology? Where did the passion come from? Um, because initially I wanted law. So oh, the okay. fact that it relates to law. Yes. It's the reason why I had to choose it. Okay, yeah. that's interesting. Yes. Now it brings me to saying, uh, to asking you rather, you are doing this program. I can see you're very passionate about it. Yeah. Uh, and then there's also the singing part. How have you been able to balance singing and your program and trying to make sure that Kwesi, you are committed? How have you been able to do that? So about balancing, I think when you love something, you eventually be able to balance. Absolutely. So because I love music so much, mm -hmm. I have to balance school and singing. I like that because yes. I think uh, when you love something, you you eventually put the the, the commitment to it exactly. because you value both. You, you're trying to push your studies, but as well as something that you naturally really, really love. I, I like that you say that. It also, we were talking about passion. Yeah. So in general, outside of the shield, why are you passionate about singing, about music? Why do you like singing so much? Is it because oh, and another voice, so I can <laughs> sing? But oh, is it? I, I, it, does it come from somewhere? Is it an experience that you've lived and you've said, "Hey, I would love to work for God through music"? Where does the passion come from? Okay, I love music. Or I can say I love singing because um, music speaks to me in a way that no one else can, Ooh, and like it's that. something that has never, you know left me ah <laughs> that is deep because music is always there yeah, it's always there yes. and also it comforts me so mm. much so when i'm down 
I turn to music. When I'm happy, I turn to music because it's something that has always been there. Clearly, so, music yeah. is the key. Like, you know, everything <laughs> that you've wanted, it, it has always been there for you. Exactly. That constant friend. Yes. That is wonderful because... I like that you really say that it hadn't hit me in that way, mm-hmm. that it has never left you. Exactly. Because in every circumstance, every situation, sad, happy, there's always a song for that, that relates, place, that yes, relates yes, to yes. that. Mm-hmm. Lovely. Uh, so we talk about that. So And then it, it leads me to asking you, who has inspired you over the years? Because as we are singing, we have people that sing and we look at them or listen to them and you're like, ah, they sing so well. Are there any individuals or groups that have inspired you over the years that you like or listen to the most? Oh, about individuals. Mm-hmm. There's um, Sharon Manyonganis. Ah, okay. Yes, and Anatolia. Uh-huh. Yeah, as well as um, Jonathan Macrino. Yes. So those are the people who really, really inspire me so much. Okay. Yes. You're really good artist <laughs> as well. Yeah. And uh, I like that you also listen to some local and some, you know, abroad. Yeah. And the way they sing, you listen to them and you're like, oh, I like how they sing. Mm. Um, I, I like that you say that because we can get inspiration from other people outside. I would also want to find out if there's any internal inspiration. Is there like a personal um, experience that you've gone through? that has turned you to singing uh are there any experiences that you've faced um not really but of course there are experiences where um you always turn to music because there are challenges in life and yes the challenges the hardships and eventually music will always be there to be a source of i don't know a source of strength strength. yes okay Mm. I like that. And you are here. You also came through to sing for us. And yes. we are so grateful that you've done that. Before we end this show, you guys, she's going to sing the song or the choice of him that she has um, done today. You sang him to one night. Yes. Guide me, O thy, thou great Jehovah. And you mire Jehovah. Mm-hmm. Uh, is there a story behind that choice of him? Why did you choose to sing him to one night? So it's, it's a very powerful, beautiful hymn. Is there any experience or story behind it? Okay, so normally what I do when I always listen to songs, uh-huh. I am so eager to know the reason why the writer had to say those words in a hymn. Mm. So I had to find out the reason why William Williams uh-huh. would write all those lyrics. Uh-huh. And then I figured that um, he was facing persecution, hardships. Right. And amidst all that, he had to say to God, Nditungamire Jehovah, uh-huh. because... Dimi Simbarang, Salachiva is Simbarang, he says that in stanza two. Okay. So that song as well relates to me whenever I'm facing hardships to say no, I just have to leave it to God because nice. he's the only person that can lead me throughout the journey. So yeah, that's why I love the hymn. And and I like that you opened with saying every time you listen to a hymn, you listen you want to find out or understand why that writer had to write, you know, exactly. lyrics like that. Mm-hmm. You're interested in the the why behind the how. Exactly. Because I think it, it gives a better understanding mm-hmm. when we are singing it, you know, because we understand where they're coming from and we're trying to relate it to our day-to-day. We might not be facing the literal persecution as Williams, but then exactly. we have different persecutions in our lives now mm-hmm. that can lead us to also relate to the song. Thank you so much for singing this song and we are so excited to hear you sing for us and the audience. Once again, thank you so much for coming through to the Music Lounge. You are gifted. I, I hope you continue singing with the shield and even in your day-to-day life, continue singing and it's something that you're clearly passionate about. Yes. Continue doing that and working for the Lord. We had uh, Daphne Mapeta in studio today. She came through and she was sharing with us her journey, her experience, and even the song that she's sung today for us, Him 219. She's going to sing the song before we leave this week's episode. Thank you so much for joining us, you guys, and we hope that you will come through for our next episode. We have so many other uh, people that will come through and they will share the experiences as well. My name is Rumbi Mamunze. It has been a pleasure and a privilege being your host for this week's episode and as always the word is be courageous and be kind until we meet again next time. God bless. Take care. <laughs>